Hey everybody, how are you? Jeff Gellman of Solid Canine Training with my What Would Jeff Do Dog Training Tip of the Day. Look who's here. Tip number 141. Uh, we just put a thing up on our uh, Facebook page, Place in Pilates, where it's about an hour class and dogs are in place. Most of them hold for an hour. A couple of people are like, how'd you do that? Uh, my dog can only do five seconds. My dog gets really excited anticipating food. So I just wanted to like, now's a great time to like bring back a place tip. Places, go to a dog bed, go to a dog mat, lay down and be calm. So when we're training it though, you can train it with food. We, by the way, we use food for training. You can train it with food, you can train it with a clicker, you can use a remote collar, you can use a leash and prong. Um, and it's okay, obviously, if the dog's excited to get there. Yes, but at some point for family pet dogs, which is what we do, we actually don't want the dogs to be excited. Which sounds like, well, don't you want the dogs to have fun training? Excitement doesn't always mean fun, but in my home, the last thing I want is a dog that's aroused. Aroused meaning like, ooh, what are we doing next? Or, ooh, I'm excited to go to the beach, or I'm excited to go for a run. It's, ooh, I went to place and I'm excited for what's next. It's, I'm going to place and, oh, I'll be here for a while. So whether I'm placing my dogs for five minutes, or I'm placing my dogs for five hours. Yes, five hours. Why? If I go swimming in the morning, go up into my office and do office work, social media work, make phone calls, come down, make lunch, hang out with my family, go back upstairs, do a little bit more office work, they're in place. And then we go back outside and then we go swimming again or play chuck it. So the way you get a dog to do duration work and do duration through distractions is through punishment. And if you're not familiar with the term fun, punishment, punishment is not abuse. Punishment is actually like, for all the people that talk science, it's like it's actually like part of dog training. So it's part of the dog training methodology. It's fair to give a dog a punisher, if you wanna call it a correction, to feel better, that's fine. We've done in the past, We some of us still do. Correcting a dog for non-compliance of a known command is fair once the dog knows the command. Then it's fair. So you always wanna be fair with your punishers because you've already done all of the training. So you used all the motivation, you used you know, all the you know, positive stuff to get the dog to do it. Now it's time to keep the dog there. So when they know stuff, now they're just being proofed. So now you can deliver your punisher. So if you don't use a prong collar, that's fine. You can you know, use just a leash, just a leash if you want to. But obviously a prong collar, remote collar, always makes a better punisher when used for that. You can also use it for other things. But just keep in mind that if you wanna have a dog there for five hours, at some point you want them to be like, I'm not supposed to get up because I don't wanna be corrected. Absolutely. If you wanna flip that around and be like, oh, so the dog holds command because it's afraid, if that's what how you wanna interpret it, okay. I also don't speed because, not that I'm afraid of getting tickets, but I know it's the right thing to do. Eventually your dogs just go, I'm just supposed to hang out here. Not because I'm, I'm worried about being corrected, not because I know I'm gonna be getting a reward, just because I know that that's just part of like what I do, right? That's just part of life of the dog. So once your dog knows a command like place, you would say no and you would apply the punisher, but you still have to teach the dog what that means as well. And you always wanna be fair with your dog. Jeff Gelman, Solid Canine Training. I'm madly in love with you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. One other sneak peek here. I don't know who that is, that's Tori Smith. I'll tag her in the comments below.